So and Jill, we, did you push your button for start video? Or are you at work and can't? I think she's in stealth mode. Okay, so we are recording and happy new year, everybody. It is yeah. already, what are we at? The third? Third. Uh, third of January. So um, I love New Year's because, like, I don't know if you guys saw, I did a Facebook paste. I totally windexed our whole dry erase board, like that whole clean slate. And what do we want to envision for ourselves personally, holistically, emotionally, financially? Like, what are our big dreams this year? And I have to say, I've been pretty pumped up listening to corporate talk about some of the stuff starting in January this new year. Totally. So um, Travis Garza led the call last night, and he said, and Randy, I yes. did not have you pull up those pictures that we took screenshots of. I don't know which pictures you are. Okay, so I'm going to talk while he plays with that. So um, one of the things he talked about is there's five things that people are looking for in the new year. And these are in order. The first is to get healthy. The second is to get organized. Third is to live life to the fullest. The fourth is new hobbies. And the fifth is to spend less and save more. And so I really think when I look at this list, you know, you look at what we're doing with our system. That's the one I'm going to want later. Our system works physically, emotionally, can work financially, if that's something you choose to take advantage of. Um, I don't need this one. What was number three? I'll read them again. Number one was get healthy. Number two was get organized. Number three was live life to the fullest. Number four was new hobbies. And number five is spend less, save more. So again, like, we love these products because it's done so much more for us than just lose weight. I mean, you look at the distressing component, the convenience, the time saving, it kind of encompasses a bunch of this between living life to the fullest, the get healthy, the spend less, save more. That we can really take advantage with these top five things people are looking for with New Year. Then he also talked about, does anybody know the stats of how many Wait people- I can share that. Um, I'm going to have them guess first. How, you don't need to share the stats for that. How many people make it to February and they're still on their New Year's resolution? Does anybody know? It's like 8%, I think. Well, well, make, I've heard. Making it to February is actually 25%. We'll make it past the first month. And then to actually complete your goal, you're right, Laura, only 8% of the people complete their goal by the end of the year. So, well, you know... Obviously, we always talk about we're a life system. We're not just a fad or, you know, a diet or something you're going to start and stop. And I think that really encompasses what we're talking about. So the first thing that they kicked off last night is a program called Results Not Resolutions. So have you guys heard about this? Like, raise your hand if you've heard about Results Not Resolutions. Okay. So I'm going to give you the bullet points of what is happening. So Results Not Resolutions actually started this past Monday and is going to run through January. So it will go through January 31st. The people have to pick one of the three enrolling packs, the value pack, the premium, or the basic 30-day. They also have to register on resultsnotresolutions.com. That's going to be an Isagenix -like page for all the January enrollees to get on. And then once they're enrolled, they're going to receive, this is the one I want them to see, they're going to receive emails from corporate. They'll get five total um, within that month time period, which is nice because they're not going to be bombarded every day. They're just going to almost basically get one a week. And the way these emails are going to work is that they're going to have a dietitian tip. They're going to have an isogenics article. Um, and what they said is Dr. Polisario and one of the nutritionists are going to be one of the articles. They're going to get a fitness tip and a recipe in each week. So the cool part is we're still going to throw them on our team page and we're still going to do our check-ins with people as leaders. But this is corporate, you know, coming to our side and giving some additional support to really help launch them, um, out of the box. I'm hoping this is something we're going to see more of, but at this point, you can go ahead and hit the stop share. At this point, um, right now, it's for results, not resolutions. 
It says they also are going to need to share their progress on social media using the hashtag ResultsNetResolutions. If you do these four things, if they don't lose 10 pounds in the first 30 days, they can get their, their money back. So um, that is the whole Results Net Resolutions campaign. And anytime I've been showing transformations or an isogenics post, I'm purposely using that hashtag Results Net Resolutions because I think that thread is just going to have a whole bunch of things popping up that we want people to see. Wait, what, how many people were on that call last night? 20,000? No, they said 2,000 people. 2,000. 2,000, okay. We're on the call. So They were like up to 2,500. Yeah, so 2,000 people on the call, and he was talking about how you can set the trends that, you know, just 2,000 people here start posting results, not resolutions, hashtag. You know, it's going to go viral. Right. So does everybody understand? Does everybody, anybody have questions about the results, not resolutions? Mm -mm. It's for new, new people only, is that correct? Correct. Hi, Jill. Are you at work? Hi. No, I'm at home, and I'm on the phone and on the laptop, and I, I'm not having very good luck okay. with the laptop, so I'm just listening in. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Okay. Okay, so next, um, where's my book, my plan book? I think I brought it in the other room. Did you bring me to life, uh, success plan book? So the next thing they talked about is that this tool of the ISA Life Success Plan. So those of you who've been around for a while, in the past they used to call it the 90-day 90 90 action plan. Then we went to conference last year, they changed the name, and it's now called ISA Life Success Plan. So we've already been told this year at NYKO, they've updated this, apparently it's bigger, and I'm hoping spiral bound, but it's also in the back office. So if you go to your isogenicsbusiness.com, and you look under tools, you can print off the ISA Life Success Plan. Now, one of the things that I really liked as a difference between this one compared to the 90 Day Action Plan is that there's actual scripts in here. Um, and they do scripts for what to say in person, what to say on social media, um, and it's gonna be on pages four and five if you have one of the older books. But um, those of you who've never seen the ISA Life Success Plan, it's basically a blueprint to help give you the tools and skills you need to start sharing with friends. So they're gonna give you tools like how to write your 30 second story, how to find your why, learning to share, um, showing you the new member checklist, showing you how to rank advance on the Crystal Executive Map, um, how to create your contacts. So it really is a how-to book that's a great guide to go through and teach you how to work the business. Now, that being said, um, as you are talking with your team and doing check-ins with your team for the new year, and I definitely recommend if you haven't done that, go back and check with all your people, both inactive and active, and just see how they are right now. And... Um, and then find out, are they wanting to start sharing? Because if maybe somebody told you two years ago they weren't ready to share, their life situations could have changed. Their husband could have lost a job. They could have taken less hours at their own work. You know, whatever happened, they may, or maybe they're just more passionate about the products now that they've been using it longer. Find out, do they want to start sharing? So the biggest thing we say is talk to your coach, and if for some reason your coach isn't willing or available, we're always available. We look at our team as one big team, doesn't matter who enrolled, that we are ready to help people start sharing whenever they're ready. And uh, one of the things I think that, that we can use more of is three-way calls. That if you're going to be sharing with people and you're relatively new or one of your team members is new, you know, don't uh, hesitate to reach out for three-way calls. Right. So I'm going to backtrack for one second. Speaking of check-ins, I don't know how many of you guys saw this, but to my personally enrolled, I sent it. And if anybody on here is not a personally enrolled and they want to take the evaluation, I can send it to them as well. Is I created a 10-question survey. Hey, Jill, now we see you. A 10-question survey to find out where people are on your journey. Are you happy with your journey? Are you frustrated with your journey? Are you wanting to now start sharing? Do you want to run to executive? It's kind of just given us a pulse of where people are as we're heading into a new year. So um, I have it on a Google link. 
So if you want to take the survey and get it back to your coach or to us, that's fine. If you are on our first line and you haven't seen it, please take time. It won't take time at all. There's only 10 questions to fill out the questions. And I did it on Google because that way I can see your answers and you don't have to mail it back to me and it makes it super easy. Now, to segue uh, in that, along with the other stuff, uh, you share, they share, uh, one of the most underutilized assets or tools that we have is the new member checklist. And we encourage you to use that when you go through with the person as you're enrolling them. And just ask the questions. It, it kind of leads you through the process, but you can find out right then and there, are you interested in the business or are you just a product user? How interested are you in it, in, in it as a business? And, and they lead you through the process. So I, I highly recommend using the uh, new member checklist. Okay, so we're gonna move forward onto the second. So they really talked about three things on the call last night. The second thing they talked about is the rapid crystal reset. <coughs> so this is really cool, especially because all of us that I can see who's on the call, hey Alicia, is that um, we're out of our crystal executive bonus time period. And I never hit the, the crystal, I've never hit executive yet on our second account. We didn't hit the crystal on Randy's account. So what this does is it gives us a chance to go again for it. But there's a twist to this time. So with the, the crystal reset they're doing, it's called a rapid crystal reset. And what that means is they've cut the time in half but they've also doubled the bonuses. So the time periods, and I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through this. So the first rank advancement is crystal manager, and that means that you've simply shared with two people. And what I really want you guys to think about is think of friends and family, and they really talked a lot on this call last night. The goal should really be to everybody, get as many people as you can to hit the crystal manager bonus, because, not everybody wants a business or wants a residual income, but who doesn't want a $500 check coming off of Christmas? And the $500 bonus is as simple as you sharing with two people and teaching them how to share with two people. Now, because you guys are leaders, some heads up to look at on your accounts is I encourage you guys to go into your back office and look at View My Team. When you're under View My Team, Look to see if you, if you have a team member who has more than 250 BV every 30 days. Because if they do, that tells you they are loving these products, they're using them all the time, and they could get a second account in their house. That second account could be a spouse, it could be a child over 16, um, I had somebody do their mom. So 250 and above can support two accounts. That's a really easy way to to start your you share, they share. But the second thing is then to teach them to just ask their friends and family if they have two people. So the simple, the simple uh, action of you share, they share, if you do that before February 3rd, so it literally gives us a month, then you're gonna get a $500 bonus instead of a 250 bonus. And remember, for every new consultant you promote, up to 20, you get a $100 bonus. So realistically, that could be, if, you haven't, if you're promoting new consultants, that's $700 in bonus that you're going to get. So um, I need to see their faces. Does everybody understand the process to get to, go ahead, hit stop share, to hit um, manager? Yep. Okay, so director is the next one, and director is promoting six consultants, and the date on that is March 10th. So again, you share, they share, but it, and, and it really is that simple. We don't need to keep seeing that. You sure? Yes, I'd rather see their faces. Everybody got the dates? No. Well, I'm going to say them as we go. Okay. So, um, you know... One of the things Randy and I talked about is we want 2019 to be a year of simplicity and duplicatable systems. That it really is as simple as sharing and teaching them to share. And the more we hear and learn, the more your business grows depends on how good of a teacher you are of teaching them to get their people to share. And so the more duplicatable we can be, the more using of the systems we can be, it's, it's that teacher of a teacher. And so for director, you want to do six consultants 
by March 10th, your bonus will be $1,500 instead of $750. <coughs> Plus, remember, if you're promoting six new consultants, there's $600 in consultant bonuses. So realistically, that director bonus could be $2,100. And again, the date for that one is March 10th. And then the executive is to grow 10 consultants. Now, with the first two, manager and director, it doesn't matter which side your consultants are on. They can be all on one side or split between the two. But for executive, they have to be an even five and five. Five on your left, five on your right. And if you hit that by April 14th, you get a $2,000 bonus. That is instead of the 1,000. And again, if you've created 10 consultants, you're talking another $1,000 just in consultant bonuses. So in review, the manager date, which is you share, they share, is um, April 3rd. Director, which is six consultants, is March 10th. And executive, which is 10 consultants, even five and five, is April 14th. So if you were to add all of those, like if you started from scratch and hit all of those bonuses, that would be $5,000 in bonuses in three months. Anybody want $5,000? Yeah. So here's the other thing. Say you've already hit manager. What you would do in this situation is you pick up at manager and you go for that director and executive. So for me, I've already hit, in fact, I did hit the rapid director last year when I offered this. So I, on my account, I'm going for executive. Under Randy's account, because he's already hit executive, he can start from scratch and try and hit all three bonuses again. So if you have more than one account in your house, place, look at some strategy and see how is it better for you to build. Also, if you're familiar with uh, Eden Slobin, uh, her script, from last year's conference uh, celebration is probably one of the best scripts that I've seen for getting people right off the bat to get started with two people. So if you're not familiar with that, you can Google it. It should be on our team page. It's in the file cabinet. In the I file cabinet shooting with stars. shooting stars. And, uh, and read over that. And I watched a girl do a video of it uh, where she was talking to a girlfriend of hers and she was on the phone with the computer in front of her, and she was almost reading that verbatim. And I've seen people actually hold the script and say, do you mind if I read this? I'm learning it, and read the script word for word. And she immediately had two Eden people. Slobin. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So she immediately had uh, that person a consultant when she signed up. And I'll bring that scripting back up to the top of Shooting Stars so you guys don't have to look for it. So the big thing that we hear all the time is, is this possible? And yes, it is. I think the biggest thing is your mindset. Do you believe it's possible? And are you willing to work? Because it's possible, but it's going to take work. And as I said last night, it's a sprint. It's a three month sprint. So we invite you to join us on the sprint. We're not gonna drag anybody. We're not gonna make it mandatory for anybody. But if you want to go on the sprint with us, then we ask for you to share to, with us and or share with your coach that, hey, I'm in and I wanna go for this. And post it on, on our team page. Just say, hey guys, I'm gonna go for this. I appreciate all the support I can get. And I think it's interesting that they bring out this rapid crystal reset now with NYKO because every time they come out of celebration or NYKO, there's always a 90 day game plan that they start with. And this is a 90 day window. So it's gonna go hand in hand. Okay, any questions on the rapid crystal reset? No. Okay, so the third thing they talked about, and you guys may remember this, that Kathy and Jim Coover made a video back in the fall talking about trying to encourage people to enroll one person a week for the last 15 weeks of the year. <coughs> And um, we personally did not hit it, but I know there's people on Cindy's team. There's about five or six people who did hit it. And the advantage of them hitting the 15 enrollments is they get a head start by getting 5,000 points in this challenge. Now, they haven't told us the name of the challenge yet, but they're teasing us. We know that it's tropical. We know that the trip is in October, and it's a six-month challenge. So it started 
uh, January 1st and is running through June. And the top 150 associates with the most points are going to win a five-day trip in October. Um, and I believe out of the 150, I think they even said 25 of those are Canadian yes. and 125 are American. So, um, There's you know, no name for it right now. They're going to figure out the name. They're going to release the location at NYKO. Yeah. So if you, you know, really want to run for the sprint and the marathon for the six months, you know, it's, it's all, everything of this Rapid Crystal Reset and Kathy's Challenge all come back to the basics. It all comes back to, are you connecting with three new people a day? Are you following up with three people a day? And are you enrolling? And I, I've heard over and over, I think, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of his name, Cepeda, Herb Cepeda. I remember two or three times on stage, I've heard him say, five is the magic number. If you can just consistently enroll five people a month. Um, and the other thing is rank advancements that we've heard through Cindy and through some of the leadership team that the 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 way they're coming up with points for this challenge that Kathy's running and for future incentives are all going to follow the leader in, leader in action guide. Well, the leader in action guide is all based on are you enrolling, are you rank advancing, and are you growing? So it all comes back to those basics of connecting with new people, following up with people, enrolling, and rank advancing. Yeah. That's as difficult as this business gets. Is it's more tedious and more consistent but it's not difficult it just requires consistency and effort does that make sense okay anybody have questions on Kathy's challenge okay so I'm just gonna wrap up with I kind of concluded with what do you do now like what action steps do we want to take and the first one and I to me this is an obvious one is we all want to be products of the product and I say this very genuinely that I don't ever feel we've arrived at the perfect body or the perfect status, that we're always a in process, but are you using the products consistently and are you following the program? That should be first and foremost for all of us. The second is, are you open? Are you open to possibility? Are you open to training? Are you coachable? That those all kind of go hand in hand. The third thing I'm gonna say is tune up your ears because I learned this in my previous business that when you kind of just walk around in your day-to-day -day life, you hear people all the time say things like, I'm exhausted. I sure could use a quick, easy meal. I need to lose weight. I need some energy. I wish I slept better. I could use an additional stream of income. That how often do we hear that and just brush it off? where we have the solution in our back pocket. And um, I don't ever call anybody out. Like I just had somebody recently, I saw make a comment on Facebook about being exhausted and I'm not gonna say something on their thread, but I will private message them like, hey, I saw your post that you're exhausted. I'm so sorry you're in that space right now. I may have something to help you. Are you open to hearing about it? I mean, just be simple and non-threatening, but open to that. Don't be weird. Don't be weird, as they say. But, um, but I think a lot of us hear it all the time and ignore it or let it go in one ear and out the other. Or and you if, get too caught up in your own little world and, and you don't hear anything. So the more we can tune our ears into it, we have solutions for every single person, whether it's the athlete, whether it's the overweight people, the tired mama. I mean, we have it all. Healthy aging. Healthy aging. Um, so tune up your ears. Um, the next we already talked about print off your ISO life success plan or if you have one from a past conference you know dig it out brush off the dust and they may be updating this at NYKO right and if you need to print a new one off go to isogenics business print a new one off but use that as your guide um, the sixth thing is get involved um, and I think the first thing to getting involved is commit you know what are you actually committing to this year if you're committing to being a product user and staying consistent being a product user, excellent. If you're committing to, I want to be a manager and simply get that $500 bonus and get some products paid for, great. Are you committing to the executive run and are you committing to doing it with the, the rapid reset? Commit to what you can commit to. I don't want anybody to 
wish they could get to crystal executive and not commit to it. Like know that your life, know what your lifestyle is, know how much work you're willing to put in and write down what you think is really workable for you. You know, we're never going to shame anybody to be like, Oh, you only want to hit manager. Are you a slacker or what? You know, like commit to where you can commit. And then after commitment, tell your coach, tell your sponsor what your commitment is and, you know, see how you guys want to work together. Maybe it's finding an accountability partner. Maybe it's jumping into group coaching calls. Um, I am going to continue my group coaching calls. They start this Sunday. So my two time frame for group coaching calls are Sunday nights at 7.30 p.m. Central Time or Wednesdays at 11.30 a.m. Central Time. And my, our Zoom lines can hold up to 50 people. So right now, I typically have three on each call. But if you want to jump into the group coaching calls, you can do that. If you want to find, and a lot of you guys who've been to conferences, you know people you know, across several teams. If you want to find an accountability partner, find an accountability partner. Jody? Um, yeah. What is your Sunday night time again? 7.30. Thank you. Yep. And, when, and Wednesday? 11.30 a.m. Okay. Unless you want to do it at p.m. No. no. Um, so the next thing is, I, I'm going to really challenge a lot of you guys, especially you guys who are on this call live. Most of you have seen either a virtual event and or a live sampling event. And really the way to get into action is to start hosting them. And I kind of feel we're in a place where a lot of people are waiting for me to set the date. And I want to get to the place where you all are comfortable setting your own dates. I remember somebody on stage, and I don't remember who said it. Actually, I think it was Eric Worre, said, whoever's holding the mic is making the money. I don't want to be the one always holding the mic. I want you guys stepping up and out of your comfort zone, um, especially you guys who are all on the call tonight. You guys are all seasoned people. You know the scripting. There's scripting in the book that don't wait for us to hold an event. And I'm actually going to challenge all consultants or people wanting to make a run on the map to host your own event, whether it's virtual or um, live. And, you know, if we're available, I don't mind coming and helping you. But I, if I'm coming to help you, I want you to take the lead. I don't want to take the lead. And I just go back six years ago when, when we started this, Jody did not start the business with me. That was my business. She had her tastefully simple business and it was two separate paths. So when it got time about four months in to do a Your live virtual launch, you know, I, I did it by myself. I literally went onto the Isogenics business page, downloaded the notes on how to do it. And uh, I got videos, I got whatever I needed for it. And I just stood up there and I read from the script. Honestly, it's that easy. But people don't care. No. You know, so, and if you want coaching or to run some things through before you hold an event, again, get a hold of your coach, get a hold of us, and, you know, we can help you polish it a little bit if you need polishing. But most of it's the same thing that you'd be telling people face-to-face, belly-to-belly. Right. It's not any different. You just have a few more people, and you've got some there with the canisters or whatever you might have. Um, the second is if you're looking to share on social media, talk to your coach, talk to us about tips and tricks of using social media because we've done all the wrong things. We want to try and help you guys, you know, not do as many wrong things. And granted, the, um, the logarithms are constantly changing with social media, but I think the basic content stays the same and it's be authentic to yourself, you know. I am very a big proponent of posting at least two transformations a week. Um, I just had a meeting today with somebody and she said to me, I have been, she goes, she came to my first sip and sample four and a half years ago. And she said, sip and sample. yes, um, that oh, she thought you were talking tastefully simple. No, no, no. My, the, the sampling event here, um, that she goes, I have been watching you and I feel that God has been leading me to you for four years and I just have not, you know, reached out. So we sat and talked today for an hour. She was on her lunch break, but I call them the secret stalkers. 
you have no idea who's watching. And I remember this person telling me no four years ago and thinking, oh, she'd be so fantastic. I really wish she would have said yes. And so naturally I was thrilled when she said, hey, I've been watching you this whole time. I'm finally ready. I wasn't in the place to be ready four years ago. So to reemphasize, it's not only in your posts, but it's also in your presentations and everything else that you do. Be consistent. Have at least one launch party or sip and sample a month. Have uh, your postings on a consistent basis and, and pick days. Like Monday can be uh, Money Monday or Tuesday, Tuesday Transformation, Wellness Wednesday, that type of stuff. But also you're building a brand. So it's got to be about your life with this stuff sprinkled into it. Mm -hmm. So that's why my, my couple of projects that I was working on tonight went on the Facebook. Okay. So again, if you need social media tips, we can send you podcasts. Susan Sly has a great podcast with tips. Um, obviously, there's some from conference. There's probably even some of the Isogenics business if you go look in there as well. Um, but social media is free still. And while it is still free before Zuckerberg changes that, take advantage of it. Um, and, and they always say have two social medias. So maybe it's Instagram, maybe LinkedIn, whatever your other <laughs> position is. I try and do all three. But that way you're getting different views from different groups, um, groups of people in your life. Um, okay. And the cool thing like about LinkedIn and even Instagram, um, all of them is it's not just those people that you're having direct contact with. You're having contact with their network. Right. Because the stuff is being able to be brought back up and, and it's shared different ways. So, you know, it, it's important to get out there and make yourself known. Right. The second Randy talked about earlier, take advantage of three-way calls. It's great because it edifies people and it shows that it's not just you getting results. Plus, it's duplicatable and it's teaching and training at the same time you're explaining a system. I think that is one of the easiest ways to get... Um, the, duplic the duplicity going is to do three-way calls and, and the virtual events or the sip and samples is, you know, a lot of times if people join in a virtual event, they're then more likely to invite their friends to a virtual event. Same thing with a three-way call. If they joined with a three-way call, then they're going to have people come in on a three-way call. Um, and then we talked about this a little bit earlier as well. It's how good of a teacher are you? Once you have a consultant going, be sure to teach them how to share their story. And I think one of the first steps is teaching them to write their 30 second story. So the better we can be teachers, the quicker the business is going to grow. And then the last is attend events. Um, so you guys probably know NYKO is sold out. However, you can get a virtual ticket. I don't remember how much the tickets are. Does anybody know how much the tickets are? I think I saw it was 50 maybe. That makes sense. Okay. And so the money for the t virtual tickets goes to the Isogenics Legacy Foundation. So it does go towards their donations. And um, the other cool thing is you will get the links. So say Jill has to work in her shoe store and she really wants to watch a segment of somebody presenting. Well, she'll still have that link to go back and watch it later when she gets home after work. So, you, you know, watch it live if you can. If you can't watch it live, you can at least have the privilege of watching the replay because you've paid for that virtual ticket. And then you can go back and you, take, you can see it more than once and take more notes. Right. Um, same thing about attending events. So like Laura, I don't know if there's people out in Iowa that are holding um, leader meetings or sip and samples. Not that I know of. Well, and I was going to say, you don't have to wait for it. You can take charge in that. You know, right. same thing with Rhonda out in West Virginia. Now, she has a surgery coming up in a couple weeks, but once that girl's on the mend, I know she's done monthly meetings and sipping samples that you can partner with other people. So when I'm going to throw this challenge out, like, hey, everybody have a sampling event, you know, maybe Shelly and Jill want to partner together and do a sampling event together. You don't have to do it just by yourself. See right. if you want to partner with somebody else. And the same thing with meetings. So those of you who are local, we are doing our vision board meeting on Saturday the 19th at 9 a.m. here. And then we're going to have our NYKO recap of any new unveilings they give us at conference on Tuesday the 22nd. I am considering um, Facebook living that one because there are so many people out of state. So pay attention, Rhonda and Laura, if you guys want to be able to tune into that because um, I think I'll do that in Ice Journey so that people can tune in. Um, and then the last part, go oh, ahead. 
what time is that meeting? It's seven. at seven on the 22nd. And then the, the next thing is track your progress. You know, that we start out in January with all these great intentions. And you may have your goal board or your dry erase board, but do you have a tracking system? You know, how are you tracking that you're connecting with three people a day and you're following up with three people a day? I have another form that I'll bring back up to, um, to the Shooting Stars page where it is um, a daily activity sheet, if you will. Can you hand me my black binder and see if it's, I can show it to you guys real quickly? Is it er Erica? No. This is, uh, this is what it looks like. You're going to laugh when you see it because it's an October date that I haven't used it in a while. But it's just, it's a weekly tracking sheet. And what the columns say on it is who are your three new prospects, three follow-ups, three acts of kindness, a post a day, and a gratitude a day. Like that's a really simple action list. So those of you who are list makers or like to check things off when you've accomplished it, that's a really easy daily action of how to stay consistent. So whether you use that or you have your own system, be sure to track what you're doing and who you're keeping in contact with. You know, it could be as simple as putting it on a spiral notebook pad. Some people are electronic and they keep it in their phone in notes, but keep that list of your new people and your follow-ups of who you're talking to. And, and I would have to say probably one of the best piece of advice that I hear over and over this year that's so easy to hear but hard to implement is take the emotion out of the results. Mm -hmm. um, they say detach yourself from the results. Meaning, say like this girl today who I talked to, her name is Angie. Say, I, you know, I really want Angie to come on board. But I need to detach that really wanting to emotion out of my head because my team is going to keep going whether she comes on board or not. And I think when we don't detach ourselves from the emotion, that's where we get caught in the trap of constantly calling the same person over and over and over because we're so attached to that outcome. Where that's where the finding new contacts comes into play and our business is gonna keep going whether they join or not. So the more conversations we have, the easier it is to detach from the emotion. One of the things in there is, is that don't take it personal, it's business. No, they're not saying, no, I don't want to be your friend. I just don't want to do this right now. Or they're not ready. Yes. A lot of people, it's, it's like an alcoholic. They haven't hit their rock bottom and they're not ready. So you have to wait for them. And that's the hard part. But like Angie said, she's been watching me for five years. So who knew she'd be calling me this week? You know? And I've seen teams do the 100 no challenge. Where you essentially are seeing who gets the first 100 no's. Well, out of that hundred no's, how many yeses do you think you'll get? Any guess? Three percent. Ten. Ten percent. Yeah. Yep. And the better, the more people you talk to, your percentage actually goes up because you get better. Your presentation improves, obviously. You got to learn to talk with people. And the last piece of advice is ask for help. You know, whether it's your coach whether it's a sideline, whether it's us, whether it's Lisa or Cindy, like ask for help wherever you feel comfortable getting. You know, the, I love that Cindy positions her team as we're all one team. Um, she is gonna run another 90 day game plan. So watch Isa for Wealth because she's probably gonna put a post out there of who wants to run the 90 day game plan with us. So that'll probably be another Facebook page. Um, and. And like I started talking about earlier, what do you believe you're capable of? Believe in your mindset. Maybe it's time for you to do another Healthy Mind and Body, or John Stankowitz is doing another Growth You program. It's called The Big Picture. It's starting on the 14th, and it's going to be a 30-day mindset. It's $99 to do that one. It's normally $299. Um, so, again, and, and if it's not, if it's something where you can't afford to do the um, Big Picture, Healthy Mind and Body is 40, and if you don't want to do Healthy Mind and Body, the Rod Harrison book called Are You Up for the Challenge is literally the Healthy Mind and Body program. So you can read Are You Up for the Challenge, you could do Healthy Mind and Body, and you could do the big picture, and I think all three are going to serve you. So whichever is better serving to you, how do you learn better, what can you afford, you know, do what's going to work for you. And they're going to be coming out with uh, Super Saturdays starting in February. So uh, check the Isogenics events page under um, 
associate-led events. Yeah, I have not seen anything coming to Chicago. However, Cindy is having one in Columbus, Ohio. Mm -hmm. uh, Jody and I, actually, I talked with Jody. I won't include her in that any more than that. But after going up to the um, Milwaukee event, we, uh, we were so impressed. These people had put it on by themselves, had never done one before, um, had a great turnout. And uh, I made the comment to Jody, hey, we ought to do one of those. But it is a, a team effort. It takes uh, a small village to be able to put one of those on. So uh, we're going to work with that, see uh, if maybe February, March, uh, we might try that locally since nobody's pushing one around here right now. We are? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> see what I mean? Okay. So that's about as much information as we know on that one so far. Um, any questions about anything we've talked about? No. Okay. So don't forget to take nope. the survey if you haven't taken the survey. And if you want to jump in our team coaching calls, let me know. Like I said, this Sunday will be the first one of the new year at 730. And then on Wednesday the 9th at 1130. And I obviously have a um, Facebook group for the group coaching call people and um, a link, a Zoom link to be able to log in for the calls. And just <laughs> as to well. add on, if you see business posts out there by any of our teammates, don't just like it or love it. Comment. Comment on it. The comments have active. really dropped. And, you know, it's the, it's the comments that are going to keep the excitement going. And even when somebody comments, reply to your comment because that keeps right. the post live too. And obviously, you know, you, you start seeing people comment on your page. I, I would imagine every single one of you would go back to that person's page and take a look at their page and see if you can comment on theirs. So just pat your back, I'll pat mine. No, something like that. One last thing I thought of that he said with that, and this is one of these things I've dabbled with, but I'm not consistent at, and I need to get better at being consistent with, is, and I think Marcy Wade has had great luck with this. When somebody makes a comment on one of your posts, say you're doing a transformation post, go back and thank that comment, thank that person in a private message for commenting on your post. Like, hey, I saw that you saw my post on, on Susie. Thanks for commenting. You know, it really means a lot that you're watch that you're you're following me or something. However, you want to word it. But I've heard of people getting enrollments just for thanking people, and that may just open the door to have a conversation. You and know, you can always be uh, direct and say, if you know of anybody that uh, is looking to transform their lives, uh, I give great referral bonuses. Yeah. You don't have to ask them to join you. Yeah. But they'll go, oh, gee, maybe I should be doing that. And the other thing I started doing today is I know a couple other people who are in different network marketing companies, most of them skincare, is I just sent them a message today saying, hey, since we're both network marketers, and health and wellness is such a hot topic in January. Please know that if you send anybody my way, I'll send you my cash bonus. So you never know who they'll send you. Network marketing, baby. All right, do you guys have any other tips that we missed? Suggestions? Uh, you're not Jill, you're muted. Jill. Sorry, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. When commenting, um, Facebook puts more weight on four or more words. So if you're commenting um, with at least four words, that's mm -hmm. Yeah, so helpful. instead of saying yes or agree, that the, and I don't remember what the relevance is, but you're right, four, more, four words or more. They want to see a conversation, and they know that a conversation right. is not occurring with fewer words. Right. Good point. Anybody else? Okay. See you guys well, later. Thank you for tuning in. Like I said, I will put this recording on ISA Journey. And, you know, again, feel free to connect with your team, see where they are. Are they happy? Are they frustrated? Do they want to become a business builder? And then let your coaches know what your level of dedication is and anything they can do to help you. All right. Okay. Thank you, Jody. All right. Thank Have you. a great night, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.